So it's just done. You believe in the Bible? Right? See that? Hey, sister! Sister! Right? Have we got all one hear the words of God, man? Right? So, but it's always tough with our people, man. You read Exodus 32 and 9. It's always tough, man. Right? But hey, let it be something folly. Let it be, let it be uh, Kimmy's birthday bash. Hey, everyone's there, man. Right? Kimmy's all white party, man. Party at the park, man. Let it be that. Hey, brother. Bro, you got too into the Bible? Why not, man? So you, ain't, you can't say God bless and I have two minutes for the Bible, man. What are you doing, man? It's the Sabbath day. Right? Everyone's busy, man. Right? The people don't actually you believe in the Bible? You have two minutes for the Bible? So you, you believe in it, yeah? So you ain't got time for it, man. So there's a lot of fake Christians, man. I said we got lives. Huh? You said we got lives. We got lives, man. Right? We, you got, what do you mean we got lives, man? Like as if the prophets weren't out and teaching the word, man. Right? As if Paul, right, wasn't out teaching the word. Christ wasn't out teaching the word, man. Right? Just winging it, man. Hey, sister. 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 With a pink bag. Right? Yeah, sister. You got time for the Bible? So now you don't, you don't, you don't. Because you're walking away. You don't, have, you don't always... But you said you always have time. We're going to read the Bible here. You don't have time for it. So you're lying. You're just winging it, man. Read that. The book of Exodus 32 and 8. They have turned aside the quickly. Right, they turned aside the quickly, man. Right? In the context, you're going to understand why they turned aside, the man. But people, when they're walking around, yeah, I believe in the Bible, they spin their head back very quick, man. They turn to the side quickly, man. They have turned the side quickly out of the way which I have commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped it. And have sacrificed thereunto and said, These be thy gods, O Israel. Man, so, hey, the Israelites, hey, sisters, 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 you have time for the Bible? Or are you going to Kimmy's all white party, man? So, come, let's talk about the Bible then, man. In when? In a minute. Are you coming back? Remember, you said that, man. <laughs> right? These be thy gods of Israel which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Right, man. Hey, because our people, hey, they put. They put the carnal things above the Most High, man. You put all these other nations above your own people, right? So you're gonna see some Roman kingdom, man. Right? You put your, you, you made the, the, your phones your god, man. Right? And these other nations your god. Hey, family. What country you guys from? What country you from? Spain. What are you? Are you sure? Are you Spanish? You're not Colombian, Peruvian. You sure? Where's your father from? Where's your father from? Hey, what are you talking about then, man? You from Ecuador? Come talk for two seconds, man. I hey, went. Take a leaflet. Hey, hey, take a leaflet. Take a leaflet. Just take a leaflet. Yeah, give him that. Give him that. Hey, the, the native Ecuadorians, they would be the Israelites. The native Ecuadorians, you guys would be the Israelites. You know, in the Bible, you know, Jacob, he had twelve sons. Your people would be the Israelites. I don't know if you ever heard that before. Right, take it, take, check it up. Type in Ecuador uh, Israelites. You you'll find some stuff, man. Your people are the church. You're, you're above all nations of people, right? They taught us the lies that Christ is white. Christ is not Christ is not Blanco. Christ is Moreno, right? You would be the Israelites. Your people, the native Ecuadorians, on your father's side. So check that out, man. Right, check that out. Cause we would be one people. We're a family, right? We would be one people, man. So you gotta look into that king. Check that out, man. Go crazy. Right? So hey, our people are scattered, man. People say, oh, it's just a black thing. It's just a black thing. So what about when you see guys that are, 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 are looking so called white? What, uh, what's that then? Is it a black thing? No, it's about the seed, man. Right? It's about the seed where you come from. Right? But can So so read that verse. Verse 9. Verse 8. Yeah. They have turned aside quickly. Sister. You have time for the Bible? I, I didn't ask that. I asked if you have time for the Bible. All right, that's a better answer then. Right. Hey, sister, sister. See that? Mixing. 
Me and that man, that pack spirit, man. And that pack is going to be destroyed, man. Everyone wants to run up in that pack, bro. Right? And that's how you see like, our people. This verse is showing a lot, man. Because our people make damn shops their gods, man. Are you going to go into a pack on the Sabbath day? Right? But Sunday you wouldn't do that, though. That's how you know the system's wicked, man. Right? Running into packs. Right? But give it. You have two minutes for the words of God. See, you ain't got two minutes for the words of God, but you've got time for the damn Edomite, man. That's sending you down uh, olive oil hairspray, man. Right? Just stiff necks, man. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I have commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and have worshipped them. And have sacrificed their own to and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Right, so, so are you, you so called black people, man? And you think Pax is the one that brought you out of Egypt, man? Right? Hey, sisters. Sisters, you got time for the Bible? Or we just wear uh, head wraps for fun? Because wearing a head wrap has got to be something spiritual. Right? They're just, just mincing, man. In and out of Pax, man. Made it your. your a moral calf doesn't have to be something that's just a, it's literally a cow. Hey, you, that's an idol, man. You're idolizing packs, man. Right, that packs is going to be destroyed, man. Along with the man that I sent to you as well, man. All right, read on. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Hey, bro, hey, brother, come here the world of God, man. You ain't got time for Jesus, or you're going to do that tomorrow on Sunday? Right, so you're you just, just, just winging it, man. You don't really believe in Jesus, man. Right, why you don't even believe in Jesus, why you got Jesus, please, man? Like Kodak Black was saying. Right, you know Jake, he love you with the big chains, right? You know, he's got a big chain, a big cross, like, he's, now he's walking, he's walking like that, right? Yeah, man. Right? Now, therefore, let me alone. Verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. It is a stiff-necked stiff people. people. Alright man, our people are stiff-necked man. Don't want to hear nothing man. You don't want to really hear the true words of God man. Because the word of God hey, is powerful man. You got to hear stuff and hey, you got to stop doing that. Right? Give me uh, uh, Ezra 8 verse 21. You got that? Nine. Twelve. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Hey, brother, what country are you from? What, where? Where's your dad from? Are you believe in the Bible? You do? Let's talk about the Bible then, man. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. What country are you from? Mixed. Where's your dad from? Uh, Karaku. Mexican Okay, okay, okay. okay. Who praises? Huh? So, who praises? Who praises? That's mighty. So, so, so. What do you do? You know, you say you, you read. Have you ever read the Bible before? I have never read the Bible before. I was born Okay, okay, okay. So even with that being said, do you know that the so-called black man, right? Give me Isaiah uh, one and three. Drop what we really have. Hold that. Isaiah one and three. Because we 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 take on this term of being called Christian. Christian is not a nationality. You know what I'm saying? Christian. It was Christian. Religion. All right, exactly. A religion. Right? It's not really... Uh, uh, the word Christ to be called a Christian, even in the time after Christ has passed, was really a byword. Right? So it was it's like a derogatory way to address the, the Israelites. Because the real, the first Christians were the Israelites. Right? But they were called Christian as a byword. Just like today. What do they call us? Like, like what would they call a so-called black man? If, if, for example, let's say I was paying for Liverpool, or let's say I was paying for England, and I miss a penny, what are they going to call me on Twitter? Right, 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 exactly. They're going to call me a racist man. Right, give me Acts 13 and 1. Right, they're going to call me a nigger. Right, and you know that word's in the Bible? Yeah. Yeah, that, that word's in the Bible, man. Yeah, man. So that shows you, if that word's in the Bible, what does that mean? It's been there for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been here for a long time, because we've been here for a long time, man. So that's a good point. Right, read that. Can I say something? No, no, no. I'm schizophrenic. Okay. And I believe Jesus was too. You think? Well, he speaks to me. Okay, what did he what did he say to you? I didn't die for your guys' sins. You sure? You're liars. Okay, well, we'll show you otherwise then. We'll show you. I'll, I'll say what he said that he comes to He says, this is what he yeah. said to me. I can Go be on. wrong. Go I'm on. not I'm saying you wrong, but I'll say what he said to me. You guys killed me because I'm bisexual. 
you okay all right let me let me start with this and then we can we can work it out we'll work our way there all right let's read so we've got isaiah chapter one and verse three the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib so the ox right is a is a big animal right it's used for for like sh uh, turning over the ground right it knows its owner right the ass is another way of saying donkey right even a donkey as dumb quote unquote as it may be and hey, that knows where it has to go but no, no but as i said quote unquote right even as quote unquote dumb it may be or as simple as the animal may be it knows where it has to go right but what? Animals are smarter than you. i wouldn't say so i would not say so and the ass his master's crib but israel does not know my people does not consider right so the the, the people of the bible the israelites they don't know who they are right so for example you're saying you're from uh, what country am i from karaku right what, what is that word what does karaku mean right so so even these names we've taken on names that that's not a nationality you can't say i i i'm mean, like like jamaica for example it means land of wood and water we're not a commodity you know a lot of these names are a commodity right puerto rico right that's the pool of riches right there's certain terms like even the word nigeria really is just nigger niggeria that's all it really is you know what i'm saying but there's, what's funny about even that with that word or that term nigger is that it's found in the scripture showing you that the apostles right they were uh, uh, so-called uh, niggers as well right let's read that let's read that acts 13 and 1 now there were in the church that that was the antioch certain prophets and teachers as barnabas and simeon that was called nigger that was called nigger one of the apostles and uh, he was called nigger denoting his skin color but we've been taught things like uh, christ is a white man and right? christ isn't a white man right christ is not a white man but the bible is saying that the apostles which christ was amongst they were called uh, they were called nigger go on. would you believe me if i told you i was jesus absolutely not how did you look away there you wouldn't be you, look away again. you wouldn't be I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. Okay, go Acts 1 to 9. So you believe in Jesus? Yeah, I am. Okay, cool. Okay, so tell me, when did this happen? Because you shouldn't be here right now. You see that? That's crazy. The book of Acts, so you believe in Jesus? Alright. Chapter 1 and verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while while the, while they beheld, beheld <laughs> he was taken up, and a like, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So, so you're supposed to be Jesus. Hey, you shouldn't be here, then, man. Because because hey, the, the the Bible is saying so will you, right? So this is madness, right? We got your two, and then we got this, right? This is madness, right? The Bible says that Christ was received up on in, in, into a cloud. So when, when did that happen? You see that? You see that? That's madness, man. Right? Because hey, you don't even fit the description. Right? Because hey, oh. Christ was a bit darker than that. Okay. Right? Christ wasn't really, you know, that's, that's that tasking. No. Yeah. Like, I'm feeding the, the Bible, man. And your hair is not matching what the scriptures so, so, so say. So why does the white man think Jesus looks white? And you think that he looks dark? Well, because we read out of the scriptures. We don't read yeah, what the, we don't read. Do they? Do they? So they, they tell you, so if they did, why did they give us an image of a white man then if they do read out the scriptures? So they say that it's his color of his skin? Yeah, it says it. What does it say? Let's read it. No, you should know, no, no, you should know. Why? You right. should know. You're, you're Jesus, right? I don't you write should, the Bible. You yeah. should know you what it is. You should write the Bible. The man brought the Bible. You should Jesus. know, though. Why? Because you are the word, right? I, I don't you mean John 1 and 1. Because you're the word. And people are liars. Because you're, 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 you're the word, though, aren't you? You're the word. Yeah, you're the word. So if you're the word, the word should be in his mind. They are. So what does it say in Revelation 1 and 14? That is what the people say, not what Why does it say in Revelation 1 and 14? I if I love you. See that? It's the book of John chapter 1 and verse 1. In the beginning was the word. So you was in the beginning, yeah? Do you know what the first verse was? So you, what was, what was the first word? I'm not gay. Huh? That was the very first verse that I ever spoke of. What did you say? Back what was it? I'm not gay. Because he fucked himself in the black and gave birth to himself. What's going on? Hey, bro, 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 bro. bro. Hey, that's off, man. That's off. You got a. You, that is not. Just what I have, bro. Nah, man. Hey, that's that's some witchcraft or some sort of sorcery you have. 
I've seen the chills. Yeah, yeah, and witches are going to be put to death, man. Right, Because yeah. the Bible's going to death. Give me Exodus 22. Right uh, give me Exodus 22 and verse, start verse 18. That's wicked, man. Right? The Lord, the Lord. Well, well, uh, you can judge according to the Bible. Because uh, you're the word, you don't even know the, you don't even know your own scripture, man. You're the word, but you don't even know what it says in Revelation. But you are the word, though. That's the point. You are supposed to be the word, right? Yeah, You don't even know what it says. Right? Those words are lies. But he say, he say some blasphemy. He say, it's not blasphemy. You just said the Most High done something to himself yeah. in his bum. Yeah. That's off. He laughed at me. And he said, because right. I told the truth. He said you don't read the Bible, right? And he's Christ. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, and verse 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what did you read then? Hey, what did you read? What did you read? And what did you read? What was read in the book of Isaiah? Hey, man. Hey, Christ. What was read? What was read? What was read? What was read? No, no, no. But it says the Bible. Hey, wait. What's funny? The Bible says that so-called you read something in the book of Isaiah. What did you read? I'm black Jesus. All right. See that? From the top. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book. He found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Right, so, 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 I, Christ, Christ, uh, the real Christ, right, because, hey, remember, give me that Matthew, um, 24, I believe, or 23, right? Because there are going to be many false Christ anyway. Christ, yeah, the, Yahweh Shai, he read out of the scripture. He read the book of Isaiah. And you don't even know what it says, but you're saying you're Christ. I don't remember. <laughs> now the Son of Man is forgetting the scripture. Yeah. When did, when did Christ, when did Christ ever, this is madness, man. It is. Are you, wait. I am insane. Nah, man, you're just doing it. Give me the Exodus 20, 22, man. But it's Some witchcraft it's going on here, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. man, you gotta repent from that, man. Why? That's the same See, I asked right. why, not how. Why is better? 18. Exodus 22 and 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lies with a beast shall surely be put to death. Verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Right, so in the law, a witch wouldn't be allowed to live. So you said about, oh, that's wrong. The so-called wo wo words, rather, that you're supposed to be, and you don't even agree with it, man. So you don't... I already said that's wrong in that place. So, 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 what, now, now, now... You just said, you just said the biggest when? lie ever, when? that you just said that the most... What do you say about the most high being with his bubble, sir? What do you yeah, say? You what? Like what? That's not a lie. Where, what, what verse is that? What, what verse it's is that? Where is it? So you're just, you're just talking stuff, man. No, no. You're just talking stuff, man. I but what does that have to do with the Most High? I said that and God laughed inside of my head. So what does that have to do with the Most High? Everything. Because I just give, I just give reasons for how he gave birth to himself. Alright, see, hey, give me Psalms 119 verse uh, 8. Because what it is, it's really, it's just like, you probably, you know, you can't like impose what you've been through and, and, and I change what, I, I said, I'm saying you can't impose what you've been through and try and... You're more important than me, actually. I'm, this is what I'm saying, though. So you can't impose what you've been through and try and change the scripture according to that. But you said what the Most High done to himself yeah. or something. That's not what the Most. When did the Most High do that? Last I, I checked. Last I checked, the Most High is the man of war. I found out. Right. So you must. That must be Satan, then, man. No. That must be Satan. Satan was there that must well. be the the many spirits, man, that are are, are 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 probably persuading your mind to think stuff like that. And that's why you gotta watch yourself, man. Right. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Take heed that no man deceive you. So we're not going to be deceived by the words you're saying. Because you're saying a lot of stuff that... You're not, you're not speaking according... Give me First Peter 4 and verse 11. Because you're not speaking according to the word of God. You're just saying whatever you want to say. Just making stuff up. You know, where's your, where's your Bible? Right, we're going to see that part of it. Bible. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what is it like? The New Testament? Is it the full Bible? No, no, some, some game is. You, you got to have the whole book. But you never read it. 
So, so why did you, why did you have that, man? That's still valuable. So I, that's good though, but that's the point, that's good. Yeah. You don't just take the world, you can't just take half, you have to understand both yeah, but, but, but the thing is, when you read scripture, you have to take it in a little bit of future self, because everybody has a subjective mind. And when you add subjectivity and put that throughout the whole book with multiple people, there's going to be lies in it. To prove that. Look, 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 so look, look, so, so now, 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 now what's mad about that is that you're saying you're cursed, and you're saying that the Bible has lies in it. Uh, that's contradiction. Oh, that's because 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 remember we're going to show you some precepts man read up verse five we're not going to let man deceive us you're just a mortal man right because christ even said that there's going to be people like you that will come up and say that they're christ right verse five for many shall come in my name saying i am christ what? i am christ so many people you're not the you're not the first right man so you just want to be christ man you should want to be yourself you, but you, you're not Christ, that's the point we're trying to say. You're not yeah, Christ. Jesus, uh, Jesus 2.0. <laughs> do, do a few verses. Nah, nah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, how old are you? Hey, how old are you? 29. Hey, man. You kind of got to put away childish things, man. You can't be 29 walking around saying you're Christ, man. Uh, I have my inner child. I don't let my child back. Hey, well, you kind of got to kill your old man. No you got to kill that old man. Maybe that old man might be young. You got to kill it again, man. Nah, man, you gotta kill that man. That's wicked. You can't be walking around yeah. saying you're Christ, man, because you're saying you're Christ. You're not Christ. How do you know? Hey, hey. Try and kill me then. Have you? I bet you won't. Oh, well, hey, I, I didn't say. Them doesn't kill me. <laughs> verse, verse yeah, five. Me. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, yeah. and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So point being is that people like yourself are going to try and deceive. Us, man. Have I tried to deceive you? You just told us you're Christ. You, yeah, 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 you're you trying should, to deceive you. You should believe that I'm Christ. But you just said, but you're not. That's up to you you're to not. Believe, no, no. But you're I'm not. I'm trying to deceive you. But sir. you, you are. But no, you no. telling us because hey, the scripture says that people are going to say that they're Christ. No, so we're not. You're not. Well, hey, wait, okay, so cool. Let's prove it. Then. Let's prove it. So hey, have you ever eaten pork before? Yeah. All right, cool. Give me first Peter. Uh, first Peter. How do you find that funny? We're going to show you why. Because uh, we've already established that what can be in that book can be lies. You have, no, you have read no, no, no. Maybe you might have read some, some, some body doctrine, and you might have. I don't know. You know, maybe maybe you read Acts twenty nine. Maybe you read the the the, uh, uh, the Quran or something. Maybe you done priest upon Quran and tried to find something. Right? Yeah, man. Just read that. Come. It's the book of First Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. For come. For even. So I'll get 22 or 21. Verse 22. Verse 21. Verse 21. For here, for even here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us. Right, so when did you suffer for us? When did you suffer for us? When I died. When was that? Uh, when I was How many people died with you as well? I was all by myself. Ah, uh, see, you see, you see, you see. When you was all by yourself, yeah. Well, hey, there was a guy on your left and there was a guy on your right, supposedly. But you know, you wouldn't know that, right? Christ. Like because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Right, so Christ left us an example. Eating pork is not uh, is not an example, man. Because it's a sin. Because it's a sin. First John three and four. Right, and hold that as well. Right. Le leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Right, so Christ left us an example that we should follow in his steps. Right. So we're, hey, we're not going to follow. We're not going to follow in the steps. We're not going to follow in the steps of a man that's eating pork, man. Why? Because that's a sin. Why? You see that? Who did no sin? Who did no sin? No, he ate pork. Who did no sin? Christ, I Christ didn't eat pork. But Christ is sinful, so doesn't he? He's got an enemy before. Is that sin? Yeah, get an enemy, sir. Where where does he say that? Where does he say that? Right, see the wing in it then, man. So, uh, where, where's yeah, that? Yeah, 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 right, all praises is admitted, man. Right? So, give me first Peter 4 and verse 11. That's how you know everything that comes out of my mouth is true, because I'm honest. I know when I'm wrong and I know when I'm right. But, yeah, so you, I mean, I can be wrong and when I can be right, I can Christ. change. Trying to sound like, what's that, that movie, man? Damn, damn, what's that, man? Get Rich to Die Trying, man. No, in the, in the, yeah, man, the guy in the, in the car, car, man. Yeah, like, I know when I'm wrong. I'm not, I know when I'm, yeah, man, just ring it, man. Are you trying to embarrass me? I'm not trying to, are you embarrassing me? I'm not giving you a Give me a second. I'm not giving you 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 a second. I'm not
Yeah, man, that's how it works, man. And give me some. Well, give me some right, man. Start out first. Uh, start out camera. 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 If any man speak, yeah. let him speak as the oracles of God. Right. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God given, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. And so what, what dominion do you have right now? I just want to put this out there because you might have forgotten this. When I first came here, I said I'm a schizophrenic. I hear that. Yeah? Man. I hear so that. I can't be crazy. I hear that. I can't be wrong. And I, I have no successful views. I'm going to express what I think. I hear that. Give me Psalms 119 and verse uh, 8. Start. Because I hear that. But uh, even with that being said, sometimes you've got to build, you've got to break people down and build them back up. That's, that's what it is, man. I'm already being broken up. And I've built myself up by myself. So, so what's going on with you now then? I've built myself up as nothing. Right? Okay, cool. So, even that still being said, we still have to show you that you're an Israelite and there's certain things you can't be doing. Like? Right? Like, like eating pork, that's a sin. Right. Okay, cool. That's what I told death, you know. That's what I told death, you know. And it laughed. Sirach 21. It's a book of Sirach chapter 20 and verse 1. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man holdeth his tongue and he is wise. So there's a reproof, there's a correction that sometimes isn't nice. So somebody telling you something, right, it might, hey, it's obviously to, to it might say, okay, hey, that was kind of bad. You might kind of feel, all right, that's, that's, you know, this is, eating pork is a terrible thing. They might say, you might be really offended, but hey, that's the truth, right? We don't? No, that's the, well, that's the word of God. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. Hey, but hey, they're going to be judged for that. Because it's a sin that like we're going to show you. Verse 2. It is much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. And he that cons confesseth his sin. So like here. And he that con confesseth his fault shall be preserved from hurt. So there's obviously certain things. Like you said, there's certain things you said, hey, you don't want to be doing that anymore, man. Right? you, you got to wash your ways up, man. Right? You used to do that. You don't want to do that no more. Right, because you gotta put away childish things. Right? You gotta wash yourself with the word, literally. No, not childish. I was saying that God done what he done, like, that's childish man. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's not true. That's that's you're 29 man and you're talking about damn God playing with his bum, man. What the hell is that man? Nah man. Nah. God didn't do that man, that's off. Comprehend how that could happen and then you'll realise how an unstoppable force and a invisible object. First John 3 and 4. Who, whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, so eating pork would be a, a sin because pig is an unclean animal. Right? It doesn't digest properly, it's swept inside. So you eating that, you're defiling your body. Certain things you do, you're defiling your body. Right? So you don't want to do that. Right, you don't even want to, uh, uh, you ain't got to be careful, give me Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 14. Because you want to be careful with what you're actually saying. You're saying that the most I've done this, the most I've done that. Yeah. Hey, you got to be careful, man. Because right, the Bible's going to tell you why, right? The Word is going to tell you why. And give me uh, uh, Sarah, uh, 19 and verse, start verse 29, I think. 19 and verse 29. Verse 29. A man may be known by his look. And one that have understanding by his countenance when thou meetest him. Right, so there's certain things, you know, you can look at somebody. Yeah, you're saying about judging and not judging, hey, but you can look at somebody and say, okay, hey, something's going on. There's, there's clearly something going on. But at times you don't want to just assume, but hey, you're saying a lot. And when you put two and two together, are hey, you speaking? Right? Go on. Can't. Verse 30. A man's attire and excessive laughter and gait show what he is so you don't want to be that kind of guy we just, just look like it's bad news you want to uh, uh give me luke 13 and three you want to uh, you know get rid of those kind of that kind of thinking man the stuff you're saying man you got uh, you got uh, 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 um, a I, I understand 100 percent. everyone has their truth i'm not saying to look i'm not saying that I'm saying, I'm not saying that. Everyone does have their truth. 
But like even that, there's some things that you wouldn't just air it out there. Now the whole world knows what's going on. I, I hear that, man. Some things you just take it up with the most high, man. You just you can't just put everything out. Like your whole business, you slap it on, 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 on like a rapper on DJ Academics' page, man. You're just letting everyone know, hey, my wife done this. I don't know what they need to know that. There's certain things, hey, that's between you and the most high. Now, I only said my stuff would be with the experiences that I've had. I hear that, man. I hear that. I hear that. But we're not Christians. That's the point we're trying to, we've been trying to tell you. We're not Christians. We've been taught Christianity, and that's what's made our people in the state they are today. Right? But we, we, we hate Christianity. Right? This brother, especially, he hates Christianity. He'd be outside the churches, be waiting for the pastors. When he sees them, he kind of gives them this word, and they're trying to run. And have you guys like, come up with this? Connotation between yourselves. Is this like your idea of how you express yourself? Hey, this is. Give me Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah hold that. Give me Isaiah 58. We, we just go according to what the Bible says, really. So when the Bible says, hey, go out and do something, hey, you got to go out and do it. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of the time when you see Christianity, hey, it's not. They're not. Hey, where are Christians at, man? This is uh, not out there. Well, hey, so I read the word. I've never had an experience with this one. Have I had experience? Yeah, yeah, man. When I heard this understanding of who I actually am, right? He kind of said something to me and I, and I, I said, wow, I kind of digested the word, right? It's a book of Isaiah 58, verse 12. Isaiah 58, verse 12. Right? Because you said about, you know, why are we here? Well, this is why we're here. This is a book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression. Right, so we are here to show our people uh, what, what, what the issue is. Right? Right, man. That, this is what the Bible says. We, as the Israelites, are what we're supposed to do. So even with that being said, there's certain things. Uh, we used to give me Ephesians 4, 14, I think it is. Right, or 3, 14. Put, put away childish things, childish things. Right? So there's certain things we now understand that we can't do anymore. You see what I'm saying? We used to be, like, I probably used to, uh, used to be Christian, right? Used to be Christian? Used to be Christian. I like, this probably used to be a Christian, man. He can't mix up with the Israelites and he found the truth. Probably people used to be Christians up here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. There you go, man. See that? So, and that's the testimony, then, man. And that's the fact that you're a free thinker. Well, I mean, I all praise the most high, right? Give me that uh, piece of that. Piece. Put, uh, but I don't like that you're trying to do that. You don't like that. But did you not did you not hear the Bible? It says, "Yeah, hey, yeah, man." Because some, like I said, the Bible says some things are not comely. Some some rebuke is not going to be comely. Some things are not going to be out okay. here. And maybe if I said it like that, then I would have hit. And sometimes you, you're a man. You got to be a man. You know what I'm saying? When you're amongst men, you're going to sing for other brothers are kind of being tough. Are you right? That's how it is, man. That's correction. But how'd you put me down? I can't remember what I said, but you're angry. You're today, I think there's certain today, things you were saying. Yeah. That I obviously uh, uh, kind of that kind of blasphemous, man. Right? I hear that, but uh, this is why this is why you have to be careful what you say, and that's why I got angry. Right? Read it. The book of Ecclesiastes 12:14. For good shall bring every work into judgment of every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Man, so, cause, hey, I got a question though, man. Right? So, so you say good should be able to judge evil. I don't think that no, should no, be no, good. No, no, no. So, God, the Bible says that everything, whether it's good or bad, is going to be brought forth to be uh, judged. And who judges that? The Most High. I don't think you have the right to do that. That's my question. So, when I bet you. So, you're. <laughs> so, you're. So, you me, yeah? Huh? God's trying to kill me. Okay. Multiple and then? Times. Okay. Because he's jealous. God is jealous of you. God, hey, come on, man. Hey, man, you're saying, you're just, God is jealous of you. Well, well, really, hey, you see, I've experienced that. He's trying to kill me multiple times. Hey, hey that, that, that's a sign then to wake up if God's trying to kill you, man. God can't kill you. Give me Galatians 8 and Galatians 6 and 7. It's wing. All right? This is a book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, 
onto a perfect match. You got you got to put the ways that you have with you now away, man. That kind of thinking of oh, like ah, I'm better than God and God's in the pub and ah, man. I didn't think I was better than God. Well, you just I'm said. I questioned him. I proved it. You questioned it. Like, hey. You see that? Hey, that's that. Yeah, man. You should attempt the Lord, man. Just trying to just say, ah, I've done this. I will. Hey, well, you're trying to speak against the Bible, man. So? Right? You're speaking so? against the Bible. We're gonna rebuke that. That's right. Yeah, exactly. Right? Rebuke it, but don't put me down. Well, the Bible, the Bible literally says to rebuke things like that, man. No, then, then, then the Bible is wrong. So the Bible is wrong because it's not yeah. accustomed to your feelings. No, because it said that you should give me, rebuke give me, anything give that me, it doesn't disagree with. Luke 16. Uh, uh, you know that's wrong. John, oh, Luke inherently, 16. objectively, that is wrong. Right. You so only agree with what you believe. Right. I believe what I believe. To only agree with what you believe and to reveal. Nah, it's not a confirmation. Else, it's not a confirmation bias. It's wrong. It's not a confirmation bias, though. It it's, you know, it isn't a confirmation bias because it's there's things that we've had to let go of, right. like smoking, right. right, like fornicating, right. like doing whatever. That's right. that's we, we've had to let that go. That's right. So how is that wrong? Because we put that away. I never said that was wrong. What, what I said before was specific about what you said in, the, in there, but I forgot what it was. See, that's that. the spirit, man. That's the spirit. The spirit's cutting you up, man. It's cutting. And actually, it's the right? medication that's doing that. It's the what? Medication. Well, hey, you say, well, hey, even that's cutting you up, man. Because it's showing you're not even supposed to be on that, man. Right? Because really, the thing that's going to help you, right, and, and, and convert your mind is the word. Right? Obviously, the, hey, you've got to be one to the precision that's going to help you, you know, physically. But, hey, the word is going to correct what was wrong. But well, what I like is not just one religion, you know, I like all religions. I uh, well, we're not a uh, 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 quote unquote religious people. We have a culture and heritage, which is the yeah, Bible. Like We're the Israelites, yeah. right? We done. Come on. Uh, Ephesians four and verse thirteen. Finishing off. Yeah. Unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine yeah. by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You don't want to be that hey, just kind of, kind of walking up and down with being trying to find someone to deceive. You want to put away the childish things, man. Right? You want to put, put away that black spirit, man. Right? You got to put away that. You got to put it away. But hey, but like I said, hey, I, 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 I give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Just me childish. No, no, no. Hey, uh, no, no. When I, I'm not calling you, but hey, you're saying stuff that's mad, man. You're saying that God done something to me, but i that's fine. I want my opinion. Well, what are you speaking according to the words of God? That's what we're doing. Right? Someone read, someone's reading the scripture, we break it down and we tell you what it is. That's what it yeah. is. And if you don't like it, hey, brother, hey, you've got to keep pushing it, man. Right? Because that I mean, that's even showing that whoever you're around is telling you some, some folly, man. They're telling you stuff that you want to hear. No. Right? We're going to tell you the truth. No, they ain't going to tell you, hey, just keep on being wicked, man. No, no. Right? We're going to tell you, correct yourself and change, man. Yeah. That's what we're going to talk, and that's why you don't like it, man. That's why I don't like it. That's why you don't like it. Because it's cutting your spirit, man. Because right. I mean, it's cutting your spirit. Because whoever you're around is telling you other stuff that's keeping you in every wind of doctrine. Just having you walking up and down wood green, man. I don't think I'm higher than you, man. Why are you trying to put me I've watched videos and brothers are saying. Right, man. Because I was watching videos where brothers were teaching and they were saying stuff and that corrected me. I wasn't sat there and I could slam the, the thing down. I, I, I filmed the video, man. So you gotta affirm this spiritual beat down too. Ah right uh, yeah, all praises, man. Right? So you, yeah, man, all praises, man. You don't cry about it. Be, ta- be, be a man. You have to be a man, right? Read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen and verse seventeen. Yeah. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Yeah. Thou shalt. In- so, so, so we don't hate you. Let's get that straight. We don't hate you. This is love, if anything. Correction is love. Anybody that's telling you. Keep on doing wickedness, they don't love you. Right. They hate you. What if you want to do this wicked? No, no, I didn't say what you're doing is wicked. I'm saying any anybody that's telling you to keep on doing what you're doing, right? They hate you. That's wicked. So what how do you know what I'm doing? So uh, so tell me what you're doing then, brother. You just you, 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 you just live What you can't live in life. I'm bring him in. Every day every day is like a day. So, you, so tell me what, but you said you said something that was wicked, man. You said that God done no, something. No, you said you said that God done something to himself. Yeah. That's mad. That's why we gotta rebuke that, man. God's insecure. God's insecure. Look at this, man. Hey, God, hey, the most high God, hey, the devil to hell, by the way. Well, hey, hey, and you and you and you you've drunk the juice of the devil, man. Yeah, you've drunk that same juice. 
So now no, you're, as well as you think you're yeah, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, yeah, you're, you're mixing the potions, right? The devil can't even say the devil come down here. Yeah, yeah, the devil's down here, man. Right, and you've gone into them philosophies, right? You've got confused with it. I will probably have to try and clean that up, man. Right, read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What? Rebuke thy neighbor. So you're rebuking whatever you're saying, man. Because you're saying me. rebuke means to correct, to chastise, right? To, 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 to literally, to, to just eradicate that folliness, man. That's what it is. That's real love. Right? Give me that in Proverbs 23. I believe it's verse 13. You got a piece of it, sir? Right? Because Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Right, so, so that actually happened to me. I yeah, yeah, blind, and, and, and you know. Right, and you know what that is? That's literally the curses that are upon the Israelites. So why do you think our people are the ones that are walking up and down and just saying something like that? Because that's a curse. Because we don't want to listen to God. That's what it is. Because you don't want to listen to God. Hey, that's why the most has, hey, everyone has a lot, man. The Israelites, the Israelites all had a lot of land, a lot to them. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord, a lot of spirits to people. So uh, that's why you're moving how you're moving, man. Now, all, I, all I say is there's uh, higher things and higher perceptions of reality that are omnipotent. That's, that's where I think that's the highest that you can be able to go. And you know that's God and you worship that which is omnipotent. I question omnipotence. So, hey, give me that in Wisdom of Solomon too, man. That's that, that Edomite kind of thinking, man. That's how the white man thinks. The white man thinks, yeah, I'm trying to be above the most high God. Hey, the white man, the white man fears God, man. So, yeah, man, that's how the white man thinks, though, man. Right? Brother talk to you, man. Right, most high win, right? Go, yeah? You're going to go? Yeah. Right? Are you got to... So, so, so you have to repent. You've educated me. And you have to repent. That's very good for you. You have to repent, King, yeah? You have to repent. You have to repent, man. You're, a, you're an Israelite. You have to repent, man. So, Elder, Elder, let's have that conversation, man. Let's have that conversation, right? So we'll pray, right? So you say you believe in the Bible, right? No, you don't believe in the Bible, Elder. So, so where do we learn about God? Yeah, exactly. But, but we 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 haven't been taught correctly. You know that. So what you know what God called us? What did God call us? Right. Cool. Let's let's show you what what, what we would be. What our people. You know, we're the, we're, we're, we're the most special people on this earth, right? Yeah, we're the kings, right? Right, we're the kings. And we, we are actually gonna uh, rule this earth, you know that? In the time to come. But before that, there's stuff that we have to uh, deal with first, right? So let's show you a few scriptures. Give me Deuteronomy, you in there already? You got a piece of it. I can't, give me Deuteronomy 28. Because we're gonna show you. So we're gonna show you that we'd be the Israelites. I'm sure you probably know that. Right? Right, we're the four Israelites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, because they're not, they're not the real Israelites. Revelation 2 9. Right? So, verse 15. Read verse 15. It's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because if you don't hear, you must. Right, exactly. Go on. To observe to do all his commandments yeah. and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee right, so because of the disobedience of the Israelites right 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 give me uh, Deuteronomy 8 and 5 right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, are you still counting because we're still in slavery we're still being uh, corrected so called by the Most High but through these other nations because they're above us right so it says that we're going to literally, because of our disobedience and not wanting to hear, we're going to be uh, under bondage, right? Go on. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 5. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as, as man chasteneth his son, yeah. so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Right, that's because that's correction. That's the real correction. You as a parent, if your child don't listen to you, what do you do? You beat him. You beat him until he, right, now he's going to, okay, yeah, uh, first time I'm going to do it. Right? And that's why that's what's happening to us. That's why we go through the tribulations we're going through. Right? It's a break down now. Right man. That's what right man. Right. You believe in the Bible? You're Christian? Who are you? Israel? Child of God. Child of God. Right, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Read that, read that, read that. 
If we got a revelation to a night, I know by works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich. So the Lord knows our tribulation and poverty. Like you said, the man that are, that, that are just, just making the name disgusting, right? They don't have poverty. The man run everything. The man, the man, uh, 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 they, they, don't, they own the TV systems and all them things. Right? What, what do we own? We don't own nothing. That's why the Lord says, knows. Read it, read it again. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them, which say we are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right, so that man, that he's Satan. That's, that's Satan. You know what I'm saying? So we have to know who is, who isn't to know who is. Right. We would be the Israelites, because we're the ones that are going through correction and chastisement. So there's certain things that you have to keep God's commandments though. Right, because you don't you don't go to work and you get stuff for free, right? You know what I'm saying, right? So remember, we have to keep God's commandments, right? That's crazy. All right, King, you got you got pressure, you got pressure. I'm all listening. All right, all praises, right? So so we're gonna read Deuteronomy 28. What country from? Jamaica, yeah. Both parents. All right, all praises, right? So we're gonna show you why we, because we in our spirits, right? We just, we're just different, right? Yeah. Man, you, you, you see, even the way man walk, right? Them, them, the Marlies, they try to copy our thing, innit? Yeah. They put it on the night, the night tech, trying to blend in, they kind of trying to look at your thing, how you're walking, and they kind of do it. How can you do it like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They try to copy our thing, man. But really, hey, we're special. We're chosen above all nations of people, yeah. right? Because God doesn't love everyone. This is, this is not Christianity, man. The Bible's not teaching Christianity. Christianity is something new that was brought. Give me that in Colossians 2 and verse 8. That was something that was uh, 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 imposed on our people to, to destroy them. Right? Because even before before that Christi so-called Christianity, we already had laws. We already had uh, statues that we went by. Where do you think that was? In the Bible. Right? But it, it might have not been uh, literally on the paper, but it was orally spoken. Because you see, even in the time of, of, of Cain, uh, uh, Okay, uh, and, and um, in Genesis 4, for example, uh, they knew about uh, uh, sacrifices, right? You know, they knew about, uh, uh, um, you know, there's laws that are in, in the beginning that were already passed, right? So we had that if we were in our own, amongst our own people, right? Read that. Colossians 2 and verse 8. Look at Colossians 2 and 8. But where lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So like, yeah, which, which man do you think has done that to us? Right, man, the white man. Right, he's the one that's given us all these philosophies. Right, told us about, uh, uh, you know, what's it? Evolution. I, I tell you about evolution. Everything here, somebody's had to put it here, right? You know, but this, the Primark, somebody built that. Right, even you. Right, you came from, uh, uh, from something. You came from your parents. Right, that's a point of creation. Showing you that, hey, we wasn't just here. We had to be made, there's a higher power that exists. Right, man. There's a higher power, right? We the the, the name of the, the God of the Bible, the Most High God, would be Yahweh in the in, in in the ancient Hebrew, right? That's his name, Yahweh. His son's name would be Yahweh Shai, right? We don't. But where does anyone spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, yeah. after the tradition of men, yeah. after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ? Right, so they try and tell us stuff about the world, man. And all these weird philosophies, damn science, right? But God, where did God come from? What was God doing? And God was, a, he's always existed, right? The name Yahweh means he is that he is, right? He exists because he's always been here, right? So Khan, let me go, I'm gonna show you that the, your, uh, um, your literally, your nationality is found in the scripture, right? It's not found in any other book. It's not found in the Quran, the Talmud, the Midrash, all these dumb folly, but it's not found there, man, but it's found here. Why is that? And then people have died trying to, trying to produce this book. Because they didn't want you to know hey, that you'd be an Israelite. Right, read verse one. Why did we go into slavery, do you think? Yeah, yeah, um, prisoners of war. Prisoners of war. Okay, okay. Anything else other than prisoners of war? Prisoners of war, they went to that to control us. They didn't like how we was running the world. Okay, so okay. to change it. Put the Bible out, or their version of the Bible, take our beliefs away to basically have what we have now. Basically, us running around armless, legless, we don't know who we are. They know who we are. So that's why they've got so much hatred against us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. It's also because you have kids? 
So, so let's say you had a, a child, right? The child misbehaved. What are you going to do to them? Right, 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 right. So, like we, we heard the verse you read before about how, right? So now we're going to show you that what happened to us is literally chastisement because of our. If you don't hear, you must. Right, we don't. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so, so curses are going to come upon the Israelites, but they don't want to listen. Right, that correction, that chastisement is going to happen. Because when you read about those uh, from 28 to 14, there's blessings, right? Because if we, if our people were all keeping God's commandments, right, you would see there would be unity amongst our people, right? Man wouldn't be. You from Woodbury? No. Wait, where are you from? Enfield. Enfield. Right, you wouldn't. Them man, they, they wouldn't be coming down here to beef them man from them man. You know what I'm saying? Because then people would be keeping the laws, man. You see what I'm saying? Because the law said you can't even hit your brother. If we had, a, if I had an issue with my brother here, hey, there's laws of how you deal with it. It's not okay. Cool. Bring out the biggest damn. Bring out the Excalibur sword. And now I'm telling, I'm chasing man. I'm pulling out, chasing man down like I'm um, um, Final Fantasy in that. Don't game. Me. You know about Final Fantasy. Mate. You know. Like, damn, I'm trying to chop man up with a thing in that man. Yeah, man. Right. Verse 16 right. Cursed shall thou be in the city huh? And cursed shall thou be in the field And who's cursed in the city man? Right man, we're cursed in the city Because we're always watching over our backs Can't can't walk Because the next man hey, hey, where, where, where are you from? What do you mean where am I from man? You don't own this man hey, The white man owns this Right? He owns the, he owns this place And we're trying to G-check man But he's walking from another postman said that started on the plantation it was systematic we put him inside the, um, the house they had us outside so naturally now there's an indifference I'm gonna start looking at you why is he there you're gonna look at me like he's not competent enough to right 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 then it's built in it's a built-in thing why I stop for you Lord I'm on my own spiritual journey and as you know in this dunya in this world people that ain't on your journey feel lost and then sometimes when you put the eyes on you feel depressed when I see others spreading the message, I had to come and listen and stop for a second. Because people look like you're mad, but you're only telling the truth. Yeah. Same thing I've seen what you lot are doing with the Israelites. Eh? I realize they're doing the same thing you lot are doing with the mics, but there will be like hundreds of thousands of hundreds or hundreds of thousands, hundreds of black people at a time screaming and chanting and marching to attention. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Keep going. Because that's, that's what, what we have. Were they in purple and gold? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what we had, man. That's, that's what we had in the ancient days, man. And then to add on to it, when you was like, am I a Christian? I can't say I'm a Christian because to what I understood, I denounced religion in itself. I just said, I'm just going to worship God. Yeah. So for me, I just started adopting Sufi Proverbs 12. I searched for God and I only found myself. I searched for Sufi Proverbs 12. I searched for God. I only found myself. I searched for myself and I only found God. Because when I'm, if I'm going to live in His light, then man is God. I am God. You get me? I'm coming to you from the God of me and speaking to you, speaking okay. to you from God. That's okay. mighty. You get me? So, so yeah, we would be God's man. Yeah. The Bible says we are. Yeah. But we image with the wool hair. Right, man. But but the issue yeah. is in this in this land here, our power's been taken. Of course. But that's why they even said when you look at the pyramids and you look at Haru initially, he had his staffs and you sit and break it down and he was up and you look at you look at the next hieroglyphic, Ooh. he's changed position and he's begging. So yeah. think of it. He was up. Now we're going to them. Can so, so, get, so, can issue, you give us an opportunity? You, you Why do I need the, to ask you for what was rightfully mine? You believe in the little Kemet thing? The little Kemet actor. The Kemet thing we said about the Haru and uh, the Egyptian. Because we wouldn't be the, you know, we wouldn't be Egyptians, right? We would be, we would be a Semitic people. This is the thing though. There's so many different variations of black we don't know. They just clumped us all together. You got, I you got show what you you're telling me, you got the Egyptians. But what about the black people that was already with the native Indian? Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, so the, the issue with the thing of Egyptian is that they would be a Hermetic people. They would be a, like your Pushetic people. Like, they, would be, they would be a Hermetic. We're not Hermetic. We're so-called Negroes. Right? And even the white man, hey, the white man is going to tell you, the white man done his scholarship. He knows, he knows who is who. Right? He knows who the Israelites are. Right? right? He knows who. He knows, read this. Right. What's it this is... This is the book 
Uh, this is a Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Ham. So, so Ham, you know what Ham is, right? You know Noah, he had uh, three sons. Uh, yeah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? And they were the ones that replenished the earth after the, the flood. Right, go on. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. So the Negroes, right, hold it there as well. The Negroes and the uh, uh, the Hermetic people, they wouldn't be the same. Right, go on. But the Egyptians, uh -huh. Ethiopians, yeah. Libyans, yeah. and Canaanites. Right, so we're a completely different people to them. You see the man up there tall and he's jumping the sticks and that. That's not our people, we don't do that. So you don't go back to the Caribbean, a man are damn dancing to Capleton and they're doing that. And well, they're just, well, the thing, they're not doing that. What was the name What was the name you gave you gave them earlier? Uh, the, the Hamites. The Hamites. Or would you say if there's Hamites in Jamaica? Yeah, and it could be. There is, because there's people there in Jamaica be. that look like you get it. Like who? That look like them. Yeah, they could be. As I said, it goes back to there's so many different variations of black that they together. Yeah, yeah, but the difference is the Lord separated everybody. So even though they may look like uh, 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 different people, they may look so they may look. Remember, skin or well, not all skin folk is skin folk. Just because somebody's black, they're not our people. Just because somebody like Indians are they our people? Right. Then you got black people. But uh, that's what I'm saying because even amongst the Indians, there's people that were taken as slaves to the Indians, like yeah. the Dalit people, the cities. There would be people that were taken as slaves from Africa and they're in India now. You know what I'm saying? So there's people that are amongst them that are people, but like I said, Jamaica, the same thing there. Even in, in Jamaica, the people that are the people that are black, but when you look at the seed line of their father, it goes back to a white man. Like Bob Marley. He's, like he's a white man, because it's the seed line. The seed means it's, it's a sperm. Yeah, he's that's why. So he's we, the whole time I used to fix it. Yeah, that's why they're trying to big him up, man. Right. When the brother was saying as well, the brother was talking about they don't big up uh, uh, people like uh, uh, Caperton, Shabba Ranks, because these are were speaking against, you know, uh, uh, the real things that were going on, yeah. right? Sizzler, right? These men were against the whole thing, like the Chichi Man thing. They don't come in, because yeah, like, like even Sean Paul, Sean Paul, you, you, you think Sean Paul's a nigger? He's a, 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 yeah, his dad's white, man. He's, he's, he would actually be an Ashkenazi Jew. Right? So he wouldn't be our people. Right, you see that? Right? So he wouldn't be our people, man. Yeah, Sean Paul, he, and Sean Paul's not our people, man. And he's just trying to claim it. Yeah, he's just trying to claim it, so he's not one of our people, that's the thing. Right? So, like, skin folk doesn't mean that, right? And let me show you what the Bible says about the Egyptians, right? Because we were amongst the Egyptians and we were told not to do what they do, do their ways. The book of Leviticus 18 and 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, like he was in Egypt, right? But shall ye not do? Shall ye not do? And after the doings of the land of Canaan, wherever I bring you, shall ye not do? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. So we, the Egyptian team, and that's not our team. We're not down, because hey, you know what, you, you know about the ant team? You know about the ant, you're not seeing the ant? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know what that represents? So it's the unification of the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming yeah, together. That's it. But really, that's actually a vagina on top of the dick. That's a vagina on top of a, that's showing that the woman is above the man. God didn't set up like that. God made it that there's order and hierarchy to everything. That the man is above the woman because, and that's that's the, that's not the thing that to diminish the position of the woman. That's to show that that's the, the woman, uh, uh, the man is her safety. Man, they said from what my teacher does out of it, we protect them in the physical realm, and then they throw down from the spiritual. Well, well, you can say that because the women are very spiritual, you know what I'm saying? So that's why that's why a woman was made for a man. Because we need a help me. We need someone that's going to give us that spiritual energy, right? So to push you, to make you progress. You know what I'm saying? Apparently they say you shouldn't let your woman go to bed upset at you. Because she takes that to the spiritual world. And 
Did she die? Next thing you know, you wake up and bed crosses and stuff. Too. Yeah, man, now she's beefing you, right? Now she's, now, now you, you don't even lay down together, right? So, so that's where you see the thing of being a, an Egyptian, that's not our custom. Because even when you go into their thing, right, they got a lot of uh, incest, man. And you can see that I think one of the kings, so-called kings that they had, uh, he's down there, you know, he had a big toe, his head was bigger than whatever it was. But I think that's two Moon or something. One of them kings, uh, he, he's an incest baby. We don't do that, do that in Jamaica. They do that in Jamaica. Negroes don't do that, man. The Israelites don't do that because that's actually a sin. You know what I'm saying? So we wouldn't be the Egyptian. So the Egyptian thing, that's not our thing. Give me, give me Proverbs 3 and 31. Because we can't envy, they oppressed us. The Egyptians were oppressing us, man. So we can't follow after the Egyptians. This land is oppressed. We're in spiritual Egypt right now. Because Egypt is known as the house of bondage. Which the, is, give me that in Deuteronomy 28, drop that. It's, it, it, can, it, it is a literal place, but there's things that are spiritually uh, uh, connotations of it, like Sodom. It's, it's, uh, uh, or, or Babylon, America is Babylon because of what it promotes. It gives you all this wickedness, you know what I'm saying? This is Egypt because of its uh, uh, oppressive system. Same thing in America, right? Read that. Proverbs 3 and 21, 21. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. So you can't envy the, the, world, the ways of the oppressor. You can't follow the white man, you can't follow the Egyptian, you can't follow uh, 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 any other nation, but our nation and our laws that are set by the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? So we can't do that. Now like we can't be with our enemy. You, you, you don't date outside your nation, do you? Right, man. Because you know that would be a sin. Like right? the Lord said that interracial marriage, hey, that's a sin. That's say if the words of God in Deuteronomy 7. Hey, that's the Bible. Right? Because why would we uh, 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 ruin our holy seed and, and give it to a white woman? We don't give our, we don't give our seed to white women, do we? We give our seed to the Israelites, to the Israelite women, right? Because that's who it's for, right? Because God created, he made us, but he, and, and remember, these men, right? Well, I heard something, man, I heard something. It's, it's this, um, I believe it was a situation going on, right? And and the the father and the mother, they hated the fact that the, the oh, what is Akeem, Akeem was telling me. The father and the mother were telling me about, I think it was Akeem Salakian. Point being is that the parents, they're always going to hate you. Uh, what's this nigger doing at our table? Right? That's how white people look at you, man. They still think that we're the, the niggers. It's not 500 years ago, man. Right? we got to get over our own. But we keep thinking we're trying to save them, man, and not ourselves. we got to save ourselves and our nation. That's where we went, That's where we went wrong first. We met the white man. We tried to civilize him. But we didn't civilize him. was give him all the, the ideas. Work. Given, you're teaching the enemy how right, to work right, against right, you. Right, 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 and we right. civilized him. We had, I think they said Hannibal was over here, and then Rome was over here. So they could see across, and they were hypnotized with hatred, seeing for the longest. So what did they do? Eventually, they came and invaded. Yeah, man. So yeah. what I realized we were never slaves. We were just prisoners of war. Yeah, I hear that. I hear that. We, if we was up, as you said, we was here first. From what I know. And they came and saw how we was living, they couldn't believe it. They couldn't yeah, see yeah, yeah. The, gold, the stones, the structures, so hypnotized with hatred. But then, finally, from what, another thing I learned was uh, you said we're the first persons here. So, technically, we're humans. They're not, they're mutated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because their genes are recessive. The genes. They don't have any hue in them. Yeah. So, they can't even be human. Through years and years of birth control, all the babies that came up my color. This color, your color, would have basically been thrown, thrown into a fire, given to alligator. They repeated it six thousand years. Then the white. Man. Uh, well, that's from what I heard from my mother. So the white man, hey, we can show you where he comes from in the Bible, right? Because hey, you, you got a piece of? Can't, can't. You got. Yes. Give me the piece of. This is this is First Maccabees chapter six and verse number sixty. So the king and the princes were content, wherefore he said unto them to make peace, and they accepted thereof. Also the king and the princes made an oath unto them, whereupon they went out of the stronghold. Then the king entered into Mount Zion, but when he saw the strength of the place, he broke his oath. His, he broke his oath that he had made. 
and gave commandment to pull that the wall round about. Right, so you can see, even we gotta be wise with, with, with making allegiances with your enemies. Because sometimes they'll kind of be sneaky. They say, okay, we we kind of let's shake hands. Right, that's what they do with all these world leaders, man. Right. With like Gaddafi, right, Saddam Hussein, right, the man in Syria, whatever his name is. They had they had they had packs together. Then when the man see, okay, these men are kind of snake and they mm. now we're gonna we're gonna kill you. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened. That's because a lot of these uh, these lot societies or the Hamas or these things, they're set up by them, man. They who you think's funding them? They say, okay, let's make a pack together. You go and get rid of that guy, and then we'll put you lot on top. Right. And when they kind of see, well, these men are kind of off. Right? Because hey, the white man, he doesn't keep, he don't keep his, he don't keep yeah, to his word, man. Like, oh. yeah, promises, it's so busy. Right, let, give me Genesis 25, right? right. Six and 13. Right. So, Acts 6 and 13. Separate thyself from thine enemies, and take heed of thy friends. Right. So, even this could be wicked Israelites, but we got to separate from our enemy. Our enemy would be the so called uh, Edomite, right? right? That's not our, that's not our people, and we're going to show you where it comes from, right? Give me first. Uh, Corinthians uh, 3 as well, right? Because we'll show you because because a, a black woman and a black man, right? It's nothing to do with the, the Eve gene. It's literally to do with uh, uh, the seed because the seed is where that's where uh, uh, the child comes from, right? It's the seed, right? You got that? This is the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, Going into uh, uh, Rebecca, Isaac and Rebecca, right? Go on. Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people. So he said, two nations, right? Two manner of people. Go on. Two manner of people yeah. shall be separated from thy bowels, yeah. and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Who you think? Who's the, who's the one people on the earth? Who's the two people on the earth, or two nations of people that there's one stronger than the other, and there's always beef between them? Black and white, exactly, man. Right? Go on. And the elder shall serve the younger. So originally, hey, they, the, the so-called uh, Europeans, right, they were under servitude under us. We had them in slavery. That's where the word, you get the word uh, Slav from. Because they were slaves. Slavic, uh, they were slaves. Right? Go on. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, uh -huh. behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. And that's what's funny actually, because I realize you so called white people, and what do they always call us? Yeah, they, go, they always say something, I realize. They what they always say, hey, sorry, Papa. Because that man know in the spirit hey, that spirit hey, that, that would that's our problem, really. Right? But they always say, hey, sorry, Papa, sorry, Papa. Excuse me, Papa. Because they kinda know, man. The Edomites might kinda know what's going on, man. Read that uh, 25 again. Verse 25. Right. And the first came out red. Yeah all over like a hairy garment yeah. and they called his name Esau Esau so Esau which is the, that's the forefather of the so-called Europeans and he came out red and who's red on the earth today these men these men are red right, that's their progenitor the progenitor of them is Esau that's where they come from that's right so that's where the white that's the origins of the white man because before this time hey, everybody was melanated man Every, you can see that with every nation of people, eh? they've got melanation to them. But them, you see, ah, them are looking unclean. Right? Because really it's a sign to show you, hey, don't touch them. Because they're dirty. Right? You know what I'm saying? What I call him? And, and cool, even on that point, bro, right, you say you're spiritual, right? What's going on with that, man? We had to address it, man. So, so, give me um, right. So even with that, you got you got a uh, uh, um, got to get rid of that, man. Because that wouldn't be uh, uh, to some that's say, saying it's ritual to an Israelite. Because your body is, is is a what, and the temple should be kept. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 You don't want to be in. Yeah. You don't want to be in low vibration. That's a good point, man. Because that's gonna bring you low, man. Right, people like the brother was saying, you saying last week, people, people, people think that, people think that that that, that smoking is gonna get you high, so and so, but really it's bringing you low. No, no, because because the the we, what we're supposed to do, we get and hold that Sarah 38 as well. 
Right, I'll, I'll explain, right, read that. That's Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? So you're the temple of God, no? right? So we got, you said you got to keep that temple clean. Right, go on. If any man defile the temple of God, what do you think God's going to do if he defiles the temple? Him shall God destroy. So you, that, you can't allow that to, to, to be something we relax on you. You've got to get rid of that, man. You know what I'm saying? Right? Romans 7 and 14 because the thing that's more spiritual is the Lord. That's the most spiritual thing ever. I want some spiritual and it got damn got damn rocks in that. Right? Right? <laughs> right? It's the book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. But I am carnal, sold under sin. So the law is a spiritual thing. That's your protection. When you keep these laws, hey, that's how you prosper. By keeping God's commandments. Right? That's what Solomon, that's what King David said unto Solomon. I hey, keep this. Hey, yo, back up, please. Just back up, please, man. Just back up, please, man. Right? See? Just, just trying to interrupt, man. Just Satan come up immediately, man. Right? So the law is supposed to be spiritual. To, it's a spiritual protection. That's the that's the food that's gonna digest that you're gonna digest is gonna keep you holy. Fine, right? Right? So even on that point, we ain't carnal though. We're spiritual, we're carnal. So there's some times where we are you know you might kind of see, ah oh, bro, uh, uh I might do this. But for even to know what's wrong, you gotta give me verse uh, seven. Romans chapter seven and verse seven. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. So to know what sin is, you have to know the laws. You see what I'm saying? So when you go into the Torah, the first five books of the Bible, Exodus, Genesis, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, that's going to help you to understand what's the things that are wrong. You see what I'm saying? Right? That's true. And give me that in Psalm 38. Right? Because you said about the point of uh, what you do with um, how you smoke it. Because the real, the, the, what you're supposed to do really is have it with water. Right? Or... or, or or, or, or eat it. But when you smoke it, you're, you're taking away the, uh, even the weed, you're taking away the um, the heater properly because you're burning it. So, you know, people even use it as uh, like oils for rubs on like, your bones and that, you know, because it's beneficial there, right, for recovery. But when you use it for, for, for smoking, I it becomes schizophrenic. Like, there's a guy that comes and says he's schizophrenic. Now he's on meds, and those meds are probably not even helping him, man. You know, right? Treat that. 38 and start with that. verse 4. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not above them. So there's medicines out of the earth. Because we were, we were made from the earth. So how do you think we replenish and heal our body? From take the herbs, the herb, not mushrooms, that doesn't have, have any herbs in it. That's just, that has spores, right? So we take the things from the herbs from the ground to, to replenish our body. That's gonna help. Just like Adam, we take the words from the Bible that's gonna replenish our body. Right? That's our food that we should be eating daily. Right? Go on. Verse 5. Was not the water made sweet with wood, but the virtue thereof might be known? So, so that's like when you, you, you take a, let's say like let's say it's a um an ashwagandha or something. You, put, you can put that, put water in that and you drink that. You know what I'm saying? Or even a uh, 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 weed. But even with weed, it's hard to find something where it's, it's top tip. That's why I said it depends on what you're smoking for. They said your body's got certain receptors to smoke. Ganja, not marijuana. Ganja, ganja's not a drug. Marijuana can be a drug. So when the rust is smoking, it's trying to get to the eye, get to a higher frequency. So we're trying to reach a higher level. So, right. I hear that, but the issue is the point of smoking it, that's where it's completely off, no, you see that. what I'm saying? That. So that's where we put, where we gotta, we gotta put that thing down of the smoking it. You could put, like, you could even, I think you could even, you could eat that. Right, but remember, it has to be pure, because, you know, certain man be up in the bando, and they're saying, okay, yeah, this is the pure thing. And they put glass, or what I don't know. Well, that's probably the crack would be, they put glass, right? So like, hold on, they put, they put, they put glass or something in the crack. In the weed, they might even, might even put his bum cheeks on it. Right, mate. So, yeah, yeah. This is this is that new flavor. Even that weed. That's yeah, man. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. That weed, that shouldn't be smoked. That's, 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 that's a good point. Cause yeah, yeah, that's a good point, the brother's saying. Cause they might even put a little bit of that, just a little bit, kind of salt bait in there, and then now you're addicted, like the brother's saying, right? You coming four days a week for the week, but you know that you don't have every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause now they sprinkle it all over your bags. He's coming back. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna check out. You gotta make sure it's one Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's Friday. With ice cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But that's what I'm saying. That's the thing. What weed does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's even worse. Weed is even worse. What? The crap? No, no. I'm saying, depending on what people put inside it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we don't want to define our temples with that. Yeah, when you smoke it, why do you think that it affects the chemical compounds it? It's gonna affect the body. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing when you try to mix it, the negative effects it. So, anyway, so that's why you gotta, you gotta be careful when you put into your body anyway. Right? You don't wanna smoke. You don't wanna be smoking anything. Looking for that blood body, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right, 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 exactly. Right. You know, apparently we're not meant to, our main diet is meant to be plant based. Uh, yeah, yeah, obviously, when you read that in Genesis, we, we used it, like, even give me Daniel actually. Give me Daniel um, 1, and Phoebus verse uh, 8, right? Because they, they, they ate pulse, right, which would go into like your seeds, right? So let us read that. It's a book of Daniel, chapter 1, and verse 8. But Daniel purpose in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, right. nor with the wine with the, which he drank. Yeah. Therefore, he requested the prince, he requested of the prince yeah. of the eunuchs yeah. that he might not defile himself. Right. So, to deal with that, something you can't just be eating at everyone's table. Some man's like even the, some of the meat now is very defiled because they, they I, 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 uh, there's a in the Passover. You know that that's that's one of the customs that the Israelites had. And you had to eat meat. That, that's a that's a custom. You know, obviously, you might not eat meat every other day, but for that specific holy day, you're supposed to eat uh, uh, lamb. So I've heard that right? I've read that, I've read you know what I'm saying? You know, so, so that even for so you, you're you're vegan. I'm assuming vegetarian. Pescatarian. So you eat fish, right? So for that for that day of the Passover, our full focus was eating uh, uh, lamb. You know what I'm saying? Well, you might, not, you might be a vegan now. Obviously, every other day, hey, you know what I'm saying? Do you think? But for that day, because that would be a commandment. Right? You know? Uh, verse 9. Now, Yahweh had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who have appointed your meat and your drink, for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of the sort of your sort so so they they, they wanted the, the prince of the eunuchs was like oh you can't do it because it's going to be it's going to look bad on him right you know what i'm saying why are you not going to eat the king's meat but go on verse 11 then said daniel verse 12 prove thy Prove thy servants, I beseech thee, yeah. ten days, yeah. and let them give us pulse to eat yeah. and water to drink. So their diet I was pulse. That's going into like your seeds, right? You know, you like your yeah, yeah. peanuts, the, like ground, ground nuts, you know what I'm saying? Dove kind of thing. But those are beneficial too, like for your proteins and all that kind of stuff. Like beans, right? The dry food, that's good for you. You can definitely di digest it, right? You know what I'm saying? So that, there, there was a diet that was set, like even I, you don't pull crab, shrimp, lobster, none of them kind of stuff, right? right give me that little bit of Because even that, right, that's a low frequency thing, man. Because we're in, uh, those kind of, uh, what are they called? What, what are those kind of uh, seafoods called? So they're basically the sea. Exactly. And they're, they're at the, so they're bottom feeders, right? So they were, they're like the cleanup crew. You know, they kind of, you might say for sharp guys, and they come and clean up. So now you're eating, you know, and with shrimp, some of you might notice little black stuff in it, and that's crap. That might not, that's, that's doo-doo, man. Right? <laughs> Read verse uh, 7. 11 and 7. Look at this. 
Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever are fins and scales. What was fins and scales? Right? Fins, fins and scales? Sharp. Fins and scales. Think of it like uh, uh, like um, our skin, right? We got what a layer of protection, right? Like most fishes, they obviously have their fins, and then they have their scales on them to protect. Right, right. It's, it's protect. It's protection. That's what it is. Because imagine now you cut your skin, dirt gets in. Like what's happened? It's unclean. So that's the way you see your fishes. They have their protection over their skin. Stop the, because obviously there's some things that are in the water that you can't control what's going into the fish. So that's their, that layer of the, the scales they have, right, to protect them. So it's actually a clean animal, like the sharks, crocodiles, these things, they don't, they, don't, they don't have that. They might have fins, right? Sharks might have fins. They don't have scales. But they're just naked, basically. It's right, go on. Uh, can't. Fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers. So what, what doesn't have that? Shrimp, crab, that hack is Sanskrit. Shrimp, crab, lobster, right? Starfish, right? Crocodile, rabbits, right? Shark, all these things, man. They don't have that. Catfish, right? But our people lost stuff after that. Yes, I love that. You're doing that, you know? Tur turkey, that turkey spirit. Right now you got that turkey spirit, right? Turkey, turkey, turkey bait, right? You, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things we, we don't digest because that's gonna defile your temple. You know what I'm saying? That's another way of defiling your temple. Well, it's just it's the teeth. You know what I'm saying? Right? So did even like that? You know what day is today? Well, coming to an end surely, right? So that would be the Sabbath day, right? Give me that extra twenty. Right? Yeah. So from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, right? Be, uh, 10 and 30. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day would be today, right? From the, from the sundown on the Friday, that would be the seventh day. Sunday is actually the first day of the week, right? Go on. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. So basically, everyone that was in within your uh, uh, vicinity of your, your compound or your ground, right? And it shouldn't be working, right? Because it's a holy thing. You should be out here, for example, or congregating or understanding the Bible, getting into the study, right? You should prep your food before that day because you're not supposed to uh, kindle any fire. On that day, you're not supposed to cook. You're not supposed to be cleaning, not supposed to be working. You know what I'm saying? So it's a holy day for us to keep. You know what I'm saying? Right? Let's read that. Nehemiah 10 and 30. And that we would not give our daughters Verse 31, and if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exact exactation of every day. So on the Sabbath day, you're not supposed to buy either. So it be uh, buy it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a holy day, right? You should prep. prep. Obviously, you know, you might have a, a, an emergency someone needs uh, uh, medicine, are you going to get that? Because it's good to do good on the Sabbath day. But don't say, okay, I kind of need to, I need to get them arcade tickets, right? That's not sort of random one, but you know what I'm saying? It's stuff that's just like, like, you can do that any other day, right? You don't want to do that on the, on, the, on the holy day, you see what I'm saying? You know what I'm This is a book of Syrah, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 19 and verse 24. He that has small understanding and fear of God it's better than one that have much wisdom and transgressive the law of the most high. That's a very good point, man. Right, because you want to, some people, you, being mighty and being and understanding those of things, I uh, mean, it don't matter, you want to, you could be a school of understanding and just keep God's commandments, man. Because that's the true fear of God. You know what I'm saying? 
right? That's the true fear, and 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 that's the real wisdom from 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 these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And yes, it was written by man, but it wasn't just man decided, okay, I'm gonna do this. Hey, it was men that were moved to by the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Some people say, oh, where was man made? Hey, the phone was man made, right? But I still still same way. At the moment, I put the spirit on that man to give a device that can allow us to. to spread this truth to even get this understanding you know what I'm saying so yeah but the word of God hey, is men that will move you by the spirit you know what I'm saying right you got any, any questions right so who prays so remember you're an Israelite man remember you're an Israelite king yeah you're an Israelite yeah you got a leaflet who prays man who prays you take care man right man hey brother come 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 who prays you got a piece of this is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So that's what the scripture is for, man. So with that, pass the next mic speaker. And come, come, come.